Hi, my name is Debbie Talach, and today I'm going to show you how to make a melt art canvas. The first thing we're going to do is take our tissue wrap and use a glue stick and just cover the back with the glue. We're going to adhere it to our mini canvas. Apply glue to the sides. And then flap down the little corners. We go, we're all covered. Next thing we're going to do is use our mister and just mist the surface of the canvas. We're going to take our distress paint and just give it a couple of dabs here or there. We've got two different colors here. Use them both. And the distress paint is reactive with water, so we're just going to spray a little bit more water. We're going to watch it wick and we're going to make it drip and do its thing. And then once we get it the way we like it, we're going to use our heat tool and dry the whole thing. Once we're done drying, what we're going to do is dip it into the melting pot. This melting pot is very hot, so be careful when you dip it in. What I did was pour ultra-thick embossing enamel into the pot up until the fill line, and I squirted a couple of drops of the Melt Art heated ink into the pot. Just stir a little bit and get it to the color that you want. Be careful now because this is very hot, and we're going to dip in the whole corner. Have your texture tread ready. This is the fancy feathers one. Put it down on the craft sheet and press right into the UD. We can hold it so the sides are coming down. It's very flexible. We we'll just hold it there for a minute. Once it's cool, you'll be able to pull it off and you'll see the design in the UD. We're going to make that design pop out by using studio paint in sky blue. Just going to squeeze a little bit out and we're going to use our finger just to highlight the raised portion of the UD. You'll see your design pop out and if you've held it on the sides you'll also see the designs flow down sides. And the next thing we're going to do with our UD is pour our UD. So we need our texture tread. We'll put it down and we're going to use a cookie cutter. This time we're going to use a heart cookie cutter. We're going to hold the melting pot by the handles and pour a puddle of UD. And we're going to take the heart cookie cutter and set it right in the center and let it cool. You can accelerate that a little bit by using a little mini fan. You should never touch the UD when it's hot. Use the spatula to just give it a little tap. Tap it on the outside and actually tap it on the inside as well because that takes a little bit longer to set up. Once you think your UD is set up when it doesn't make an indentation anymore, turn the whole texture tread over and press right down into the cookie cutter. You'll feel the UD slice through the cookie cutter. You pull it up and you'll have an excess piece here. The excess piece can be used as a frame, but if you don't want to use that, you can put it right back into the melting pot and it will remelt. So we've got our little heart here, and what we're going to do this time to 
make the um, raised part stand out is use Perfect Pearls. Perfect Pearls has a resin in it and it will stick to the UD. So we'll just use our fingers to apply and we'll see the design pop out. Now we're going to take our canvas and we're going to take the multimedium in matte, just give a little squeeze and we're going to adhere an embellishment on the side a little bit more and we're going to adhere our heart and we're done with our project. Here are some more variations of the projects. You can use different texture treads, heated inks, perfect pearls, or paints to get different effects. Head over to rangerink.com for more videos and techniques. Thank you very much for watching.